Yo, what's up, Fister? It's the final vlog. It's my last day of school, and I'm done with everything today. And, uh, you know, hopefully I take chem with you next year. So you should put me in chem with you, because I think you're more of a chemist in the moment. Don't tell him I said that, though. Anyways, for number one, identify an impact of an environment. For me, it's my car. I drive my car. And something in the future, not this summer, but in the future, all I want to do is get an electric car. Even though, right now, electricity isn't good. Isn't it? It's not as clean as it can be, because for fossil fuels and to make electricity, it's still, there's still a lot of bad stuff it does to the environment. But I want an electric car, like a Tesla or something, in the future. Maybe when I'm 30 or something, I'd want an electric car. But also... Uh, so I'm going to, I'm going to not drive as much this, this summer. I'm going to ride my bike more because it's cleaner, you know, and there's no, there's no, nothing bad is getting released into the environment by pedaling pedals, you know? Well, I guess I'm releasing CO2 when I'm working like that, but it's not, it's not as much as, it's not as bad as a car. And then, so yeah. I'm gonna bike more. Part two, about remote learning. Pros, it's pretty easy. The cons is that there's not that many assignments and it's kind of hard to know, well, not your class specifically, your class is like, you, you were really specific on what you wanted. But for other classes, it's kind of, it's it's harder for some classes, in, in some classes, but your class is probably, is a lot easier because there's no test or anything. And I think that's where a lot of kids got bad grades. But uh, I don't know how you would do a test. Maybe next year they'll think of something. But I would have more small assignments, maybe. Like reading a website or watching a video. And then maybe having to reply with like a, a paragraph on our opinions about whatever the video is or yeah something like that and then the cons would be just the amount of no one I feel like no one has a lot of initiative to get their work done and it probably reflects on a lot of things and I wish there was normal grades Hopefully they, hopefully they take grades normally, because I have straight A's, so I hope they they put A's on my transcript, or else I'd be kind of upset. But I'm sure they will. But yeah, so that's a con, I guess. If they don't do that, that'd be a big con. And I think we should go back to school. But online learning experience wasn't that bad. I didn't learn hardly anything as much as I could have learned, I think. I'm a pretty quick learner, I'm sure I think you know that, but like, and I picked this up fine, but most, I feel like there could be more of a, I feel like in school we would learn way more. Like everything that I've learned is in your class is basically off research, personal research. And then in other classes, it's also just personal research rather than a, curriculum but that's fine it's a new way of learning I guess everyone learns differently and I'm sure this helps some students maybe hurt some others but overall I'd give it maybe a for easiness I'd give it a like a B and then for like effectiveness I'd give it like a, a D because I feel like I didn't learn nearly as much as I could have at Critter. But overall, average, probably C minus of, of the whole experience. But yeah, I uh, hope you have a good summer and see you next year.